Colombo, Sri Lanka's largest city and the nerve centre of the island's cricketing aspirations. And not a single day in the country's former capital passes without a ball being bowled and a shot being offered in hopes of achieving the ultimate cricketing dream in the island. I, I like cricket. I, I, lo I love cricket. And my dream is to play the Sri Lankan team. My favourite cricket is Sangakkara. He's batting well and uh, he's very beautiful actions. And uh, he's a good captain to Sri Lankan team. I like most. 11th grader Mohamed Shiran is the captain of his team, the Royal College of Wyamba, victorious on the day. And there are reasons why it's always a matter of huge pride in the island. This has been started in the 1940s, this tournament, and uh, every year nearly um, 200, just over 200 teams play for this under-19 cricket tournament in Sri Lanka. So every year the Sri Lanka uh, the Schools Cricket Association organises this tournament uh, very well. And uh, I can say we have a very good young, youngster, young side also in Sri Lanka. Then uh, they will definitely help the national team in the near future. The Sri Lankan school structure has been the backbone of the game's development in the island and a great feeder system that has continually provided the big names of Lankan cricket. It was fun because uh, I was in the hostel rather than a school hostel. So a lot of fun because a uh, lot of uh, uh, sportsmen grew in that uh, environment. So that's why I took uh, sports very seriously than studies. So in that environment uh, made everything to become a cricketer. The significance of performing at this level is huge and can often come as a stepping stone towards bigger things. I played uh, for my school, then I, they was picked me for under-19 Sri Lanka schools. So then I went to tour of Pakistan and I did well. So then uh, they called me for Sri Lanka native. A member of Sri Lanka's World Cup squad last year, Kappa Gadera comes from one of Colombo's elite cricket circles. But not all Lankan superstars belong to the country's former capital, and many hail from remote areas, where the facilities are often not always that good. Lasit Malinga, for example, had modest beginnings in the small coastal town of Rathgama, but he has a story to tell. My school didn't have cricket at that time, so I had limited opportunities as a youngster. But I once got a chance in a match when my school was short of the 11th player. I played and surprised many by taking 14 wickets in the match. And I'm lucky to have spent most of the time since then with the Sri Lankan team as an international cricketer. Sri Lanka's school and youth structure is also the biggest leveller in the country's ethnically divided social fabric, as it promotes talent irrespective of religious and geographical background. Mahela Jayawardene, who went to the same school as that of fellow former Sri Lankan captains Arjuna Ranatunga and Roshan Mahanama in Colombo, knows the system has only helped talent emerge in all parts of the country. The school structure is so strong. We do pick a lot of younger guys from outstations and like Sanat, Murali's, all those guys came from outstation. Lasit, um, if you take our current national team, you know 70% of our players are from outstations, not from Colombo. So we, we have that set up, which is uh, good for us. It's about to get dark in the former Sri Lankan capital, as these exhausted school cricketers pack up after yet another long day. But their hopes of earning cricketing fame is sure to bring them back here tomorrow.